Hey everybody, how's it going? Boys Scholarship We here, and welcome to my new Let's Play. And today we're going to be starting Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. The last, in my opinion, good Spyro game uh, made by Insomniac, of course. Uh, yeah, this is the, the end of the trilogy, huh? Let's start a new game here, let's see. <laughs> 117%. Yes, the maximum, I think the maximum percentage you can get in this game is 117. It's kind of weird. But nonetheless, um, let's see, we'll get rid of this one. I don't really care. Um, let's see, we'll do the Rhinoc. But yeah, so, welcome to my new Let's Play if you're new to my channel. Which, uh, I don't know, if you are, welcome. Uh, basically what I do for my, oh, well, actually this is the main thing. I'm going to be quiet for this cutscene, I'm sorry. snap walking eggs yay six people stole all of the dragon eggs in the dragon worlds uh oh <laughs> this is the weirdest yell awkward Typical hunter. Ooh, that's rough. A powerful villain emerges. Ooh. Kind of weird artwork before each cutscene. We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. <laughs> Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now, go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. Okay. Uh oh, Zoe's been creeping. A desperate rescue begins. Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The forgotten worlds. Well, Spiral. guess that's one thing to call You'll it. have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! <laughs> yeah, come on, man, let's go! Oh, that's no good. Fool. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> Find the eggs and bring them back, Spiral. You're our only chance. You got it! That was very fancy of you, Spyro. Ooh, this music's kind of jazzy. But yeah, anyway, um, like I was saying, I like, for my Let's Plays, I like them to be 100%, show off everything, tell you all the stupid, random, like, facts about it, stuff like that. So, that's the goal. Uh, first of all, before we do anything, I am going to change the camera to active. Um, yep, that's good. Because... I just tried rotating it and it was really slow. That's better. So anyway, um, new for this game, um, it's very similar to the second one. It's a lot more similar to the second one than the second one was to the first. Um, there's not a lot of new stuff, but there's some good stuff, some not as good. Um, like as an overall in the series, this one's probably my least favorite, but still a great game. I mean, least favorite Spiral game in the original trilogy. I mean, it's it's still pretty darn good game, so I'm not saying it's a bad one, but uh, I've, pri I've probably played through this one the least amount of times, um, but this one came out later than, uh, or I I got this one later, I should say, this, this one came out, I think, within a year of Ripto's Rage, and Ripto's Rage came out within, like, a year of the original, so, but, um, I didn't get this game initially, I remember renting it once, um, and then eventually buying it, but, uh, here's the, uh, new main collectible for this game, and it's Dragon Eggs. Isabel, woo! Yep, <laughs> that that's what we're collecting. So it is more similar to the first in that uh, aspect, where we're just collecting dragons, I guess you could say again, rather than the talismans and the orbs. Uh, this time is it's this time. Bleh. Oh crap, cutscene. But just eggs and treasure this time. So you're.
you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. No. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find an egg, our expertly trained armies will dispose of you and take it back. Do I make myself clear? Expertly if trained armies. Well, all right. Uh, oh, whoops. I'm, uh, I, my bad. I'm sorry. For some reason, normally with my microphone that I use, it's called the Blue Yeti. Um, it lets me plug in a pair of headphones into a little jack on them so I can hear what normally would be output from my computer just like in an earbud or something, just so I can hear what people are saying and stuff. But I, for some reason, it refuses to play the sound through there, and instead it just uh, plays it through my computer. So I don't know. I can hear everything else, just not like the preview for the game that's recording. So I don't know, but whatever. Make the best of it. Hi, Spyro. To look left or right, press the L2 or R2 buttons. To quickly center the camera behind you, press the L1 or R1 button. You can look all around by holding the triangle button down. All right, thank you, Zoe. Yeah, people are going to bug you about controls in this first area, of course. Uh, here's the first world. We're not going to be doing this one right away, surprisingly. Uh, that's Sunny Villa. We're actually going to be doing, uh, after we clear this hub world, we're going to be doing the sort of new thing to this game world. So that's something to look forward to no, in a little Spyro. bit here. I just found one of those portal thingamajigs that leads to a different world, but you'll have to glide to get across to it. Oh man! Press the X button to jump, <laughs> then press the X button again while you're in the air to glide. All right. Just you got it, Hunter. And before I go over there, we're gonna go over here and get some more treasure. But yeah, so we're just collecting treasure and uh, dragon eggs now. Um, there are 150 dragon eggs, which is a fair amount. Uh, I think there's usually four to five per world, something like that. Um, not a massive amount, but um, 150 eggs is pretty darn good. Um, like, I'm not sure, I'm trying to think about how many worlds are in this game compared to the last, but they're pretty similar, I'd say. Um, I, I still think Spyro 2 is better. It's, I think the, I don't know if it's bigger, I wouldn't say that, but um, it's still, this is still a great game. There's some good stuff to it. Um, they did add a new controllable characters, which is an interesting thing, and that's actually what we're going to be doing here after I clear this main hub. Um, we do re retain our general abilities from uh, Spyro 2. Um, like, we can press jump and triangle to do the head bash. We can still swim. Um, ladders, we can still climb, I believe. I'm trying to think that there are ladders in this game, but I'm sure there are. <laughs> My memory's just going kind of blank. But, um, yeah, so most of our abilities remain, and speaking of which, before we talk to that guy, let's go over here and smash this rock and get an egg. Liam Neeson, woo! Uh, Liam Neeson is such an epic voice. He can do everything. Alright, anyway, um, let's talk to this, like, Tiki dude, who looks distressed. I am late for a dinner party at the Tiki Lodge, and the portal to my home just stopped working. Maybe the portal will reactivate after a few more dragons hatch. Okay. Sounds good. And we're just going to ignore Zoe. And let's see what Hunter says. I see an egg at the bottom of this lake. I would go get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. Oh, of course Maybe not. You yeah, we'll go get it. We know how to swim. Let's go over here. But the only thing that we do lose initially is when... Uh, from the second game, at the, from the very start, you could hold down all of the shoulder buttons, L1, R2, well, that was out of order, L1, L2, R1, R2, and sparks will point to any treasure that exists nearby. Um, unfortunately, that is gone, which um, we have to unlock later, which kind of sucks because it's not like I'm going to use it to be a cheapskate, but it's really nice when you're missing one, two pieces of treasure and you don't have a clue where to start looking and it's just sort of a tedious thing to go and find that but that was a nice thing but unfortunately that is gone at the start but uh, we'll get it later but I intend to get all of the treasure in every level in one run I'm not gonna you know leave some and the get uneven numbers now unfortunately there is a little bit of backtracking um, because of that new thing with the animal buddies but you'll, you'll see later I'll show you we don't need to worry about that now 
Bruce Almighty, I guess, or something. <laughs> Yay! Alright. Alright, we got that. And now that we have this area cleared, not quite, actually. Now that I think about it, we're going to go back over here. But, uh, yeah. It's kind of nice to be recording a game where it's not just me showing you how to do something like uh, those last few episodes of Paper Mario. Well, not the last few, but the ones before the finale where it was just all the star piece locations. I couldn't really talk about stuff. Um, not that that was a bad thing. It was a nice little break, but um, it's nice to be able to start talking about life stuff and things that piss me off and things that I love rambling on about, stuff like that. So that's kind of nice. Uh, today I kind of wanted to just talk about um, smart things to do when you're at college, uh, especially regarding homework. Um, for me, I, I'm a freshman at college right now, and I've learned plenty of things from the start. One, um, the first thing, in my opinion, oh, no, 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 don't care, Hunter. The first thing I've learned is that you have a lot of free time compared, oh my gosh. I, saw I don't care, Hunter. Uh, you have a lot of free time, which means you can either use that in a positive way or a negative way. <laughs> and basically, what I say is, do your homework right away. Oh, oh. I almost. Oh yeah, you found this egg. Yeah, I know. Coal train. I've never heard that name before. I gotta say, that's an interesting one. All right, thank you, Hunter. Now you can stop interrupting me. But um. The thing I've learned is get your homework over with, and then you can enjoy the rest of your night. Now, of course, I already knew this in high school, but I didn't always follow it. In college, though, I've had pretty good streaks so far where I get my homework done within hours of it being assigned in the class. And since classes aren't every day, generally, in most colleges, at least for me, it's not. Um, I don't know about anyone else who's in colleges. Generally, the, you know, the high most of them, I would say, would be where, you know, you have your Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes and, like, Tuesday, Thursday ones are, are longer to make up the time or something, you know, something like that. Generally, class isn't every day. And who knows, at some colleges, I'm sure they might have each class for four hours, you know, one per day or something. But anyway, now, uh, with power-ups, uh, for this game, here's something new. Um, you don't have to kill a certain amount of enemies to unlock power-ups. Now enemies drop treasure, which is good and bad, um... Oh, Amy. <laughs> That's a more normal name. Not sure for a dragon, but anyway, um, yeah, we got five out of five dragon eggs. But um, one of the things that I've learned is that you have so much more fun when your homework's done, and then you can go hang out with people in your hall, or you can go play nerd out on your computer. Who knows what? But I mean, when you save your stuff to the last minute, it sucks. And then it's the same for studying for tests as well. We're gonna fly up here get a free extra life because we're so smart um let's see crap am i missing treasure no <laughs> dang it of course that happens let me see if i miss some down here if not i'm guessing it's at the bottom of the ocean or the low lake oh my gosh zoe i don't care yeah that's the one annoying thing is people talk to you just constantly talk to you in this game at the beginning but that's how it is in all the spiral games i guess the second one at least but um yeah, get your homework over with, and you're going to enjoy your day. Now, that's just the thinking I do. I'm a very analytical, I'm a very step-by-step -step person. Okay, what can I do, what can I do? I, I like to keep busy and get my stuff done. I'm not one who, who likes to just goof off and work on this and then do this tomorrow instead. I like to do everything that, as soon as I get it on my plate and get it over with, then I feel, one, I feel like I accomplished something, and two, I just feel a lot less stressed out and a lot more ready to go and do something fun. Um, for me, I can't have fun when I have work I have to get done. That's just my mindset, which I'm kind of glad I have it because I don't, I'm glad I'm not a procrastinator because that honestly sounds really crappy based on what I've heard. It's like, yeah, you get to have fun during the day and then that night, your whole night is terrible. Like, that doesn't sound fun. Get it over with, man up. That's how it's going to be in real life. You can't just delay everything. Just get it over with. Have some fun when you're done, if you have time. And, I mean, that's why you go to college in the first place. You shouldn't be going to college just to socialize with people and have 
a good time. You should be going there to get a degree, which will hopefully earn you a good career and a nice paying job. That's, at least in my opinion, it's not, you know, just a place to goof off or whatever. But, some people it's different. Okay, where the crap is <laughs> that treasure I'm missing? Or did it say level complete for me? Let me check the app. Nope, I'm missing two. Ah, what a wonderful start. This is going to be probably a bit of a longer episode compared to them normally since I'm going to be doing the home world and um, a level over there. But what the crap? Where's there it is. Found it. Okay, level should be complete. I'll say that there. It won't make the happy noise like it did in Spyro 2. But anyway, let's talk to Moneybags. Spyro! My, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> we. <laughs> well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorcerers. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, The local sorcerer. <laughs> the local sorceress. Oh, yeah. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> the pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. Oh, a small fee? Sure. Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. Wow. Moneybags is a dick. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. No hard feelings. Oh, this should be interesting. Uh, <laughs> I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. As good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. I love it when Moneybags suffers. <laughs> I reckon you'd be one of them dragons then. Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. Alright. So basically the new thing for this game is once you purchase, I guess, your animal buddy's home world from money bags, then you can go help them out, do the, you know, play through their world, and once that's done, then they have their own little hubs like this, shaped like their house, in certain worlds, uh, in each home world. So, that's the thing. Um, the, the, the problem is, in the next, you know, there's one animal buddy in each home world, there's four home worlds in this game, and the next animal buddy in the second home world has a hub in, uh, what's it called, Molten Crater, the place with the, the tiki dude. And we obviously can't get there until we get to World 2, so that's what causes some backtracking. But anyway, let's hop in and do she Sheila's Elp. Oh man, it feels good to be jumping into portals again. I haven't done this for a while. But, um, yeah, if, if you don't know if this is your first video of mine you've ever seen, I'm a freshman. Thanks oh. again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Alright. Anyway, I'm a freshman. I'm double majoring in mechanical engineering and applied math. And I don't care, dude. Um, and it's a challenge. It's the hardest program at the college. It's a smaller college, or now it's a university, I guess. But um, it's known to be the hardest thing. Which, I mean, I, I'm totally satisfied with that. I like a challenge, and I love math, and I love physics, and so far, I absolutely love the program I'm doing. So um, I guess it's fit for me. But. Um, there's a lot of work going into that goes into it and you got to get your stuff done and honestly with a tech with technical classes you know math and stuff for you might not get the homework it's not like you just have to do it but you might not actually understand it um, that's where doing it right away right when it's fresh in your mind is a must at least in my opinion because believe me it's no fun sitting at 11 o'clock at night you know, right before your homework is due, and then you don't get it, and you don't have anyone to work with. 
And that brings me to my other topic, which is get work buddies. Make friends in your classes that you can either do your homework with or check your homework with or anything because you're going to learn a lot more from other people and even if you're working with people that aren't that smart you learn a lot more by having to explain stuff to them like holy crap if I have to explain how sign works to my friend Nathaniel then I learn it better I and he learns it or if it's the same thing for him if he has to explain it to me but anyway let's talk to this dude ah uh, home at last here I was saving this to make an omelet but I think you deserve it more Oh, well, thank you, Billy the Mountain Goat. Ruby and Sapphire, just kidding. Uh, I need to start playing Pokemon again. I should start playing Leaf Green, maybe. Good stuff. I haven't played through a Pokemon game for a while. And sometimes, I don't know, you, you just start losing it a little bit, you know? Pokemon is so great, and I'm always going to enjoy Pokemon. Oh, slap that dude. But, um, yeah, so that's my first tip with if you're doing a math science thing, um, make sure that do your stuff right away and make friends. Um, the other thing is keep busy, get your stuff done right away so that, you know, if something else gets assigned, it's not homework on top of homework. It's like interest, you know? You don't want to be paying interest on interest, therefore you don't want to be doing homework that, you know, gets assigned and then all of a sudden, oh wait, I have more homework to do, and oh, uh, that's just no fun. So get it over with. And also, if you don't get something and you don't have any, you know, work buddies or if you guys don't have a clue what's going on, email your professor or, or find them in their office or whatever. They, you know, if you go and, like, talk to them, they'll understand, they'll be like, wow, this person actually cares about getting their work done and cares about understanding and not just getting the right answer. You know, make a relationship with your professor, you know, talk with them. It doesn't hurt. And, then, you know, they might help you out if you show that you care. They might, you know, scratch your back. They, you scratch their back, they scratch yours, you know, that sort of thing. So, that's just another recommendation. Um, and let's get this treasure and let's slap this. And I believe I missed some treasure. I'll be right back. Let's play a joke. Take this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? <laughs> I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. Oh, gosh. Yeah, these guys are... Three, three stooges, I, I guess, would be the best thing. Jummy! Hi, Jummy! Alright, anyway. I believe I missed... I think I did. Maybe not, I don't know. I thought there was... Okay, I went back here. I thought there was another spot, but it might not be in this area. It might be in the... Uh, the last area. I just want to make sure I don't forget any treasure. And we got that. Okay, maybe we're good. Yep, we're good. Alright, anyway. Uh, I, I just know that there... I, I have a tendency, for some reason, to miss treasure on Sheila the Kangaroo levels. They... But it's because they always like to hide caves and stuff really high up, because you can jump high, so... Like that one up there. We'll be going there last, but yeah. Uh, first of all, for this area, there's a bunch of Rhinox here. Smash their houses, because otherwise they'll keep spawning, and yeah. And then kill them off, but yeah. Smash their houses. I remember as a kid, I was like, what do I do? I, I don't know, I just thought the mushroom houses were there just as a decoration, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, make sure you slap those first, and then you can go on a massacre on the Rhinox. Oh yeah, and basically for this game, enemies are just Rhinox, which I'm not sure if I really care for that, but yes, that's what they did. Um, enemies, that's the only enemy you're going to run into. Rhinox and an occasional weird fish thing or like dinosaurs, but generally Rhinox are the main enemy. Or, or you know, like random pissed off moose or something, but yeah. Um, just trying to think of those other things, but oh yeah, uh, for me, I'm in the... Uh, really basic class introduction to engineering and then um, linear algebra but with introduction to engineering it's a, there's a fair amount of projects and group things and for that I recommend get involved with your group don't be that jerk that absolutely does nothing and then expects you guys to do all the work and then doesn't learn anything from the project you know commit I'm not saying you know overfill yourself with work but um, whenever 
we've done a couple projects and both times I've typed up the memo report which is the sort of the final paper thing due that sort of just goes over all the different things that you did for the project um, it takes a lot of formatting stuff like that but uh, with engineering I've heard that a lot of the time um, memo reports um, are required to be written to your boss whenever you know experiments or testing is done stuff like that so learn stuff that's practical um, and that's one of the best things about you know getting to know your professors know what they did so they can teach you just hopefully they'll show you know teach you stuff that useful in the real world not just understanding how the math works you know that's great too you gotta be able to do the analysis but if you can't you know uh, type a, a report to your boss and stuff like that then it's like ooh uh, it's you're not as useful that way so learn the skills that you got to use for your profession that you're going into definitely so anyway we're gonna ignore Zoe because it's more useless camera information and let's just talk to this guy thanks for the help Sheila you can have this egg I found in my house okay they all found eggs in their houses that's interesting Nan. I thought that said man for a second. I was like, wow. That's the most generic name for a human being ever. And we're going to sneak past Zoe and let's head out. Alright. And now we've got a nice even amount of treasure, which is what I always love when we've got that. Um, turning to Sunrise Spring. Yeah, all the home worlds are named after times of the day. So Sunrise Spring, uh, Midday Gardens, Evening Lake, and Midnight Mountain, I believe they are in that order. But anyway, so next time, guys, on Let's Play Spyro 3 Ripped... No, oh, no! Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. Gosh, I'm going to have to get that down. Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. Okay, next time on that game, we're going to be doing Sunny Villa. Um, there's a Sheila the Kangaroo level, as well as another new sort of hub with, you know, world within a world, you know, level -ception, I guess, for this game, but, uh, yeah, there's, that's what the new thing is with that game, but we'll get more into that in the next episode, so anyway, guys, this is Boy Scholarship Wii, thank you all for watching, and until next time, guys, keep gaming, and peace out, we'll see you later.